Hi, my name is Brent Atwater and I'm the Animal Medium. And today's show is when not to communicate with energies and entities and pets on the other side. Every day I see and talk to dead pet spirits. That's what I do. So I can help bring peace and closure and answer questions for pet parents for their animals that have crossed to the other side. But there are times when you don't want to access this world because everybody says, oh, that's so wonderful, that's so exciting that you can see dead pet spirits and you can talk to dead pet spirits and you can tell everybody everything. Well, helping heal hearts is one thing, but going into Never Never Land when you don't have control of the energy vortex that you're visiting is not a good thing. Let me give you an example. Recently, I tripped and fell, and oh, by the way, this is Harold. He's my walker. And this is my cane, and his name is Connor. And this is my dog friend with a bee on his bottom, as you can see, who has stuck by my side every day of my herniated discs. Now you're going, what does this have to do with anything? Well, they take me to the ER on a stretcher, and then they give me Dilaudid, Tramadol, and Valium and send me home so I can lay down and heal from the herniated disc. My friends are going, are you okay? Well, I slept a lot because you sort of sleep a lot when they give you all those pain meds, but it was better than hurting. And then, about the third day when you surface and starting to come out of that haze of the pain that you're in and you're beginning to feel good, I'm waking up and there's spirits standing everywhere around the room and you're going, oh wow, that should be exciting. Uh, no, it's not exciting. When you're bushwhacked, or surprised by spirits, that means you're not in charge of your energy. And it means you're not in charge of the portal that you command to help people with. So it's really important to bring your gift out and use it only, key word, only when you want to use it and not use it, put it up. A lot of people walk around and go, oh, I'm so sensitive, I feel everything and I care for everything and I can see everything. That's not good use of your energy. You know what that means? It means you don't manage your energy well. And it means you don't have good control of your energy. So here I am laying up here like a beach twelve, and there's spirits walking all over my room and they're all wanting to give me messages to send to their pet parents and I'm going, I don't think so. So I had to command them away. And in my book we have a command. I ask it is my intent to remove, release, and detach any and all energies that are not for my highest and best good now. Leave my space now. Leave my space now. And for those of you who are having trouble commanding the energy and entities in your space, use that prayer. Because immediately my space was clear, although my brain was still on like prescription meds, and I had access to the vortex of energy immediately, but I didn't want to lay here and talk to dead pet spirits while I was not choosing to do so. So that's the lesson for today and that's why I'm exposing Harold and Connor and this little opportunity and my best buddy friend here who's been with me through the whole ordeal is never ever ever let spirits and entities sneak up on you. When you're on earth you're in control of the space. And the minute I could get and say, I ask and it is my intent and I command any and all energies and entities to leave my space now, that are not for my highest and best good, leave my space now, so be it, it is done, I did. Otherwise, the room was packed with all creatures, furry and small, tall, feathered, thin, scales, you name it, wanting to talk to somebody. Because when that vortex is open and you allow the gift of seeing pets and talking to pets to just be wide open with no throttle on it or no off and on switch, then you become the victim of your gift. And a lot of people don't like to discuss that side because the gift is both that. It's a gift and a burden. And it's your responsibility to control it. So if you hear of anybody sensationally going, oh my gift is doing this and oh my gift is doing that and I just can't handle that. I'm so just blown away with my gift and I'm, oh, I'm so sensitive, I can't handle it. Let me tell you something. That's a person who doesn't know how to control their energy. And that's the first thing, if you have gifts that you want to learn to do, control your energy. So I'm going back to rest now. I've got my brace, I've got Harold, I've got Connor, and I've got my best dog friend. 
And thank you for listening. We hope that you're enjoying our animal medium show. But I also want to show you that there are times you do not want to access the gifts that you have. That's when you're under prescription medications that opens vortex and doesn't allow your mind to choose whether you open or close your, you know, the vortex that you're dealing with or the energy that you're working within because everything is electromagnetic energy and you want to be able always to control it. Another thing, don't take drugs and use your gift. Not a good outcome. There is a dark side that balances all the light and there is always balance. So the brighter the light, the darker the forces are to balance it. It's always there. It's real important if you're going to manage your energy for you to understand that and never put yourself in a situation where you can't control energy and the vortices that you open when you allow your gift to benefit others. So that's the lesson today. Control your gift. Don't use it in times when you're on the edge and you don't have the mental capacity to control it. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit today because there is a good and a bad to everything, a light and a dark, and balance. And that's why I wanted to introduce this tip, I guess you would say. So be very careful when you're opening energy portals. And always close them after you talk to your clients and after you work with the energies on the other side. Never leave it open. It's like a door. Open it when you want to use a gift and close it when you're finished using the gift. Thanks so much. Do subscribe. Look at our archives. We have lots of fun things down there. And our Pet Life Radio has a show on animal communication gone wrong. You might want to listen to that. And always, always, always use your protection prayer. Don't be a victim of your gift. Be the pilot or the driver or the captain of your ship of the gift. Because that's the way you serve humanity and help all those that you came to benefit. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again. Bye-bye-bye.